Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Today we're gonna do a new bait review. This is one that I am excited to have gotten my hands on. Uh, I just got it in the mail. I pre-ordered them a long time ago. I think it was one of the uh, Best in Show award winners at ICAST. I could be wrong on that, but I know that's when it was revealed. I've heard about this bait for quite some time. Uh, my, my good buddy, Miles Berghoff, told me that there was a bait coming down the pipeline, a pretty exciting new topwater bait. And I've also heard that this is a bait that Brian Thrift kind of had his hands on for a while when nobody else did, and he's done pretty well using it. I could be wrong on that too. That's all through the grapevine. I don't know that for sure, but uh, those are things that I've heard. So the bait specifically is one that I think is very unique and it's an entirely new topwater design. And I'm gonna make my first cast with it here so that you guys can see it for the first time with me, potentially. Uh, the bait specifically here is called the Hellraiser by Z-Man. And I mean, I haven't even opened the package yet. There were only a, a couple of colors available, I believe, when I ordered it. They were back ordered at the time, or maybe it was a pre-order. I don't recall, I got three different colors. I got an all black one. Uh, I have a shad colored one and then this one which I thought was really cool is called purple death so I'm gonna open it right now and kind of get a feel for what it looks like so it's five inches long and weighs five eighths ounce it's a very unique looking topwater bait as you can see it's a long cylinder shaped bait that's got a you know a middle treble hook and a rear treble hook, but the rear treble hook has a weighted blade. I believe I, I believe this is like the same chatterbait uh, blade that comes on the Strike King Pure Poison potentially, um, but I believe that's very similar to it. I don't have one to compare, but the idea here I guess is the chatterbait blade is going to create some walking back and forth motion, which is gonna give the bait some motion. It is very heavy. Like I said, it's 5 8 ounce, but because all the weight is in the back, I mean, I'm just holding it and it's just wanting to fall right to the bottom. So I'm not sure if the bait floats on its own. It feels so heavy, I'd be surprised if it floats. If it does, it's gonna float upright in the water. It's got uh, really nice hooks on it. I do like the yellow feathered tail on this. And I really like the chartreuse underbelly. I, uh, I'm excited to give this a try. So let's take it out to the water. All right, we just tied the Hellraiser on. One thing that was weird was how far back the line tie is. You know, that's, it just, it felt weird tying the bait on almost two inches behind the nose of the bait. So you can see how far that my line is. The other thing I'm gonna point out too, so, I've got fluorocarbon on my rod right now. Generally, I don't like to do that with top waters, but I don't know that it's gonna matter. If this bait sinks, maybe you still want it because it'll help it keep it up. But we're gonna try it and see. I, so I, I don't have an, an opinion yet as to what line I should use. Oh boy, guys. <laughs> okay. I mean, I didn't even cast it yet. So, let me see if it sinks. It does sink. I want to make sure that you can see this and hear this. It's got an extremely, extremely unique rattle. I'm going to try to get a little closer for it. It, it, I don't even know. It's got a little bit of a sputter. Wow, there's a lot going on here. It's got a little bit, it's got a little bit of a sputter, like a jitterbug. And it's got a very loud but very high pitch rattle, clanking sound. And then you get you get almost like a, a almost like a chopo tail walk sound where it's like sputtering the water. Wow, and it gives off a ton of vibration. I mean, my rod tip is just thumping. Okay. Okay, let's cast this. <laughs> this is, uh, 
Man, it just looks weird on my line because it's spinning. It looks like it's all tangled up. If it casts like a bullet, stays on the surface extremely easily. Wow, wow. I, okay, I, guys, the, first off, my handle is just thumping with vibration, like almost annoyingly, like that's how strong it's coming up my rod. It starts super easily. Like right now, my whole handle, you might even be able to see it. You can look at the butt of my rod and see it vibrating. Now I know I'm using high-end MHX blanks, shameless plug, but I mean, they really are very, very sensitive blanks, but this is just almost overkill vibration if there's such a thing. Um, that's just one of the first things I noticed. So I'm gonna make a few more casts. It casts like a dream. That back-ended weight is crazy. It comes up to the surface without any effort. I mean, I don't know if it catches fish. I haven't heard of anyone catching fish. My assumption is most people just got them when I did, at least from Tackle Warehouse. It is so loud. But it's it's a very, very high-pitched sound. It's not like a low thud. And there's just a lot of different sound going on at once. I mean, it's it, you get you get the water bubbles, you get the sound of the bait, the the vibration. Yeah, this is uh, this is gonna get some use. I I don't. What I really like about it is how big of a bait it is, but how streamlined that wiggle is. You know, it's not like it's real far vibrating. It's almost like uh, similar to like a wake bait where it just stays right in place and shimmies back and forth. I don't I, I don't even know, guys. I don't even remember what I paid. I think they're fifteen bucks. I mean, I I ordered this probably, I'm going to guess, uh, it was back in, well, when's ICAST? In June? So it's been several months at this point. Well, my buddy Miles Berghoff was not kidding when he said, you're going to want to try this. This is it's just so unique and different. I, I don't... <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't really have that many words for it other than this is a, this is a cool bait to use. It is fun. I would think it's relatively, uh, uh, you know, I don't want to say weedless, but I would think it runs because the bait's running high up in the water that I think it would come through most cover all right because it's got that long nose to potentially deflect. Now, if you're around grass, or leaves, floating leaves like we are right now. No top water runs good through that, but it's almost got, it's almost got like a rat appearance. Like a, it almost looks like a mouse swimming through the water is what it what it really kind of looks like. I, if we didn't have 50 degree water temps, I'd say there's a good shot at catching one. But we have such cold water. I don't know that I don't know that it's well. I don't have my boat yet, which is frustrating, but. All right, guys, this is, I think you've seen it. You've seen what I'm tinkering with. All I'm going to say is this is something that if you haven't ordered one yet, this is, this is a cool, cool bait. Like, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm giving this guy a shot. If you have used it, with luck or not any luck let us know in the comment section because if it's if it's not catching fish which i kind of find hard to believe let us know because i don't want people spending money they don't need to spend but this is something that i can assure you very few people are throwing on your lakes and is worth a shot so i'll put the link in the video description it's the z-man hellraiser it's a new topwater bait it might actually be their first hard hard bait i could be wrong in that but uh and i really like this color <laughs> that is a sharp looking color spotted bass small mouth large mouth they're all gonna eat that all right guys i'm gonna let you get back to your day thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and stay tuned we'll have a new one coming out tomorrow for you